Hey, it's George. Um, this is going to be a really, not really quick, but try to make it a quick video. Uh, my mom's friend, Johnny. Um, hi, John. I think Johnny watches some of my videos. So hi, Johnny, if you're watching. Um, sent me a huge, huge box full of box full of records. Um, pretty much all of these, I think, are either on his label, something he played or sang on, or um, s something, some way that he had involved with. There's, a, I think, there's one that he didn't have anything. Or I know there's one that he didn't have anything to do with um, that he sent me because I know he knows I like that band a lot. And um, so anyway. A lot of singles, a lot of LPs. I have not gotten through all of it. There's so much. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much, Johnny. And um, and I have listened to some of it. Uh, so I'll just show everything. And then um, I'll show the uh, talk a, try to talk a little bit about the things I have managed to listen to. I'm going to do singles first. There's, a lot, there's so many. A lot of them. A lot of this is just going to be just me showing it to it. I up to the camera. I'm sorry, I haven't listened to all of it, but, um, because there's a lot. First one is his band, The Chemicals. Um, this is cool colored vinyl, uh, and I, uh, The Chemicals is a band I've listened to one of their albums that Johnny sings in, and they're really, really great, but I haven't heard this single, and I love the cover. I mean, this guy looks straight out of a weirdo's model kit. Uh, so, anyway, yeah. The next one I have listened to. I don't know what he had to do with this. This is Maniac. Um, and the B side of this, I don't, I wasn't crazy about the A side, but the B side was called Pepe. And that's really good. So, I'm probably right now, or maybe at the end of the video, but probably right now, you're going to hear a clip of that. <laughs> This is something off their first a song off their first album uh, and you can see the eyes are actually cut out which is pretty cool uh, doo -doo -doo. What, what am I trying to do here the eyes are cut out so it's just a piece of paper taped on there uh, so you get that effect and it's a blank label except for on the other side uh, there's some writing and a sticker um, boy, I'm really going to have to go through these. Another Chemicals. Um, cross Tops. I haven't listened to this. Uh, another Chemicals. Uh, I think this is a split with a band called Problems. Another Chemicals. This one is really cool. This was on um, Voodoo Donuts uh, label. Voodoo Donut, if you're not uh, familiar, is a donut place out of... Uh, Portland, and they had a couple, um, put a couple singles out, and this is one of, they also did one with Poison Idea, which I do have, signed, uh, by Jerry, um, but this is kind of cool to have. I mean, this is all cool to have. Uh, this one, The Anomalies, I like the cover, haven't listened to it. Um, Triggers, this looks like, uh, could be the cover of some late 70s punk uh, another Trigger single. Let's see. Oh, this one was weird. Uh, Andy and the Cool Heads. I don't know if I'm getting going to get in trouble on YouTube for this. He does have his uh, 
he's junk hanging out, so I don't know if I can show that or not. I listened to this one. I remember liking this one. Um, drug Stop, Machine Gun. Yeah. Um, this is uh, another band he was in. Um, Cyclops. I think that's him there. Uh, that's one of their singles. Uh, another Cyclops single. This one has a cool art, too. Uh, I think this... Is this colored? Yeah, this is on clear vinyl. So that's cool. Um, another Cyclops single. Do, do, do. This one looks weird. Um, Pata Hiss Adventures in Dirty Love. It's kind of weird looking. Like, was this on colored? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I'm mistaken. But the label's kind of cool. So anyway, um, Primitive Hearts, um, I like, the, once again, I like the cover, haven't listened to it yet, um, it's made to look like one of those old PV amps, which is my first amp, so that's kind of cool, um, Missing Monument, haven't listened to that, um, excuse me, the inserts, This one looks cool. Bad Vision. It's a weird cover, but I like the back cover. That's cool, too. Um, Pookie and the Doodles versus Primitive Hearts. So this is another split. Weird cover. And that's on kind of a pink, translucent pink. This one was, I haven't listened to yet either, but this one was really interesting. This is uh, Clorox Girls, and it comes with a single, but it also comes with a one-sided uncut single. It's weird. Um, another Triggers. I I don't know if this is a split or that's the name of the B-side. Um, try to go through these quick because there's a lot. Uh, another Triggers. It's a cool cover. Bad Dreams. This one looks interesting. Sex Crime. It's a kind of a trippy cover um that's his uh label that's the logo i really like that uh, label design it's cute kind of um old timey looking halloween cat sort of sort of thing um another clorox girls a lot of these are like limited numbered some of these have inserts too but i'm just trying to get through all of these um this one is a various next couple singles are various artist comps um, anatomy of, anatomy of a something, um, that's kind of cool, and this has, what does this have, this has triggers on it, so that's probably how he's connected to that, uh, the next couple are, I like the covers a lot, uh, they're called, it's, looks like a series of singles called, uh, Portland Mutant Party, so these are both the same exact release, but this one looks like an earlier version on just paper, and this one has, um, more thicker cardstock and is textured and in color. Uh, so that's volume one of Portland Mutant Party. This is volume four of Portland Mutant Party. And this has sex crime on it. So uh, once again on his Johnny's record label. Um, this one's pretty weird. Um, Portland Mutant Party volume two. It's a weird cover. Um, I like the back cover a lot. Uh, do, do, do. This is the gospel. Once again, I haven't listened to it. This one looks really cool. I like the look of this a lot. The stuck ups. Once again, on his label, different variation of their logo. Um, what is this one? Oh, this is on, this is on Johnny Cat and Punk Rock Dirt Nap, and I have a Punk Rock Dirt Nap pin, and this is on a really cool marbled, and I really like how that label looks. This one, I don't know the name of this one either, um, but I really like the back cover because it looks like it's parodying that one Buzzcocks picture sleeve. So that's kind of cool. Uh, is this on colored? Almost all of these are on colored. 
Ooh, that's on white. That's that looks cool with the pink label. Um, the next one is Royal Pains Get Punched. Um, looks like a four song EP. That's on blue. Um, ooh, we're getting stuff's falling. Sloppy Kisses. Uh, New Pompeii. That's kind of a cool title. Um, once again on his label, it's on green vinyl. Um, Black Rebels. And this looks like a split with the Nearly Deads. Um, ooh, I like that. That's a really cool um, label. I like that. Um, getting messy. Uh, Piss Test. It's a cool cover. Uh, this looks like it has quite a few songs on it. Um, oh, and we're almost at the last singles, last couple. This one I really like the cover of. Um, Quaalude. You can see Courtney Love's head is one of the eyes. Um, and pills in her mouth and uh, fly on her nose. And I just really like that cover. And then I like the back cover a lot too. I mean, it's real simple, but just cool. Um, and that's on white as well. Uh, and then the last couple singles. This one I thought was really cool. This is on his label again too, Johnny Cat. And this is, uh, I was a teenage plasmatic, seven songs for Wendy O. Williams. Uh, this is, I thought this was really cool. Um, marbled pink. Um, you take this out and it is, it does fold out and show you all the bands. So I thought this one was really cool. Uh, and then he did send me um, a record he has nothing to do with that he just knew I'd like. Um, and I was pretty excited about this. I had no idea this was going to be in there. Uh, that's The Pagans, Street Where Nobody Lives. I think he saw my video where I showed that Pagans record I bought. Um, but this is on... Um, I don't know what label this is on. But this is... There's two different... This is, I think, a 2012 pressing. And this is a mispress. There's one version where it's, the song is called Street Where Nobody Lives, and the other is, the other is called Streets. So there's an extra S, which is kind of interesting. And this is a great song. I have this on that comp, so I'm really happy to have this. I've ran into this before, and they wanted like 12, 12, 15, and I thought that was a little much. So it's very nice to be sent this. Um, now, who I'm running out of breath, Lord. Um, now are the LPs. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, man. Thank you so much, Johnny. I, re I really can't say thank you enough. Th this is his band. Uh, this is the first of his projects I've gotten into, and this album is really cool. Uh, this is The Chemicals. This is the first time he signed it for me, which was really nice. Um, and this is just awesome. It's just great. Uh, Chemical Living's great. Bubble City. Uh, my favorite on here is probably Chemical Burn. I'll play that right now. Chemical. This is just a great album and this is i think just not yeah just on black vinyl but it's still really cool 
So yeah, that, this is great. You should check this out. Next thing he sent me that I have listened to as well is, and th 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 this was just, I, I thought, oh my God, this is great. Um, Tina and the Total Babes signed again. Um, this is kind of newer, punky power pop. I turned it around and, you know, Travis, Travis is wearing a stiff shirt. I just knew I was going to like it. But this album is great. It has, uh, I think my favorite song on it is Tongue Tied. Um, Ryan Kidd would really dig that Tongue Tied song. That that sounds like something he'd play in one, one of his videos. So once again, that song's so good, I'm going to play it right now. So anyway, yeah, this is a great album uh, and great newer power pop, and it's on this cool blue vinyl. So anyway, yeah. Um, another Chemicals album. This is their third album, uh, Dag Rip. And then, which was very nicely signed, and then their second album um don't know what this is called real life for real for life forever or whatever it's called and once again it, it's signed so that, that was really super nice another band i showed there some of their singles cyclops i really really like this cover i think this cover is awesome the way that you know the buildings are so kind of uh sketchy and messy and and the uh, um the color to them is kind of offset and sloppy and it's just really cool great back cover too i just I, it's so cool um another cyclops record which uh he signed um and i i like these characters on the back cover it's cool um do, 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 i'm saying um a lot i'm trying to say um less um, the next one is, uh, Autistic Youth. Uh, I don't know if he played on this, but this is on his label. Um, so yeah. Um. Youth Bitch. Um, something I was going to say about this one. Did I listen to this? Oh, I thought this was... I didn't listen to it, but I thought this was weird because it has a song called Just Like Elvis. I thought that was kind of a funny name for a song. So anyway, yeah. Um, Trigger's record. This one's still sealed. I like the back cover. That cover looks real residency to me. Um, Piss Test. Um, Deadly Weapons. This one is also signed, but the guy's got a... Uh, poison idea shirt on and then on the back cover the same guy's got a motorhead shirt on <laughs> um clorox girls i showed a couple of their singles um street jacket
dark slash light. Kind of a weird cover. I like the back cover a lot. The back cover is cool. Uh, this one I thought was really, really cool. Um, I couldn't tell if this was Therapist or The Rapist. <laughs> Uh, that sounds awful to say, but um, I thought this was really awesome. This is just a paper bag. It's literally just a paper bag that has been spray painted. I thought that was so, and the record was inside the bag. I took it out, but I thought that was awesome. Next one is Coma. This one's still sealed, too. Um... This one looked, looks pretty interesting. It looks, I mean, from the cover, it looks kind of Devo-y, uh, craft work -y. Um, yeah. And then there was one more. Where was that? Hold on. I'll be back in a minute. There was one other one, but uh, one other LP, but I misplaced it. Shoot. Um, anyway. Anyway, thanks again, Johnny. Thank you. I, I really, really appreciate it. I'll have a lot to listen to, and um, uh, I'll, ha I'll have another video out soon. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for listening to me. Uh, comment if you want. I like comments. Um, and that's it.